Hey everyone, it's Dave here and welcome to the Climb to Overview. I was doing my research basically and just checking out the second iteration of the same game because that's pretty much the sequel to the game that already was released on the store, I believe one and a half year ago, something like that, when Quest 1 was like, you know, popping. In a short summary, the Climb 2 is a simulation of real world climbing mechanics in pretty outstanding environments like graphics wise, especially for the Quest capabilities, as well as now because we're on the Quest 2 normally, the graphical fidelity is gonna be like enhanced. What am I expecting? Of course just climbing, right? I do remember that the first game was kinda hard at times and it's not because of the difficulty but some mechanics were just too hard to understand or like even control while you were crossing obstacles and just climbing through the rocks basically. But I have few concerns already because there seem to be a lot of weird things happening already in the trailer stage, not even play the game. So first of all the trailer says that they show a PC game footage, right? Which is fine because a lot of games that wanna promote themselves on the store put out like you know better graphics footage just to sell more copies and I would still pass it if the game would be released on both platforms right quest or rift for example but the situation with the climb to is that it's releasing as a quest exclusive it's not releasing either on steam on rift or anywhere else basically so how can you say that it is a PC footage while it doesn't exist it's purely an engine render of the game which will never reflect the actual quality of the game that you're providing. I feel like people are not grasping the fact that it's an actual scam <laughs> because if you would uh, release the game on Rift as well then I would like pass this trailer but it is just not fair at all. So that's one thing. Then I've heard some things on Reddit and just like rumors throughout the YouTubers that apparently the Climb 2 is gonna be mostly like an updated version of the first game because they might reuse a lot of maps or tracks that were already in the first game and just pretty much transfer them with better like texture quality to the next game. And I was a little bit skeptical about this rumor still, but then I was re-watching the first trailer to the game and I'm starting to believe that because they reuse the trailer footage. So when you're seeing the clip, the exact same animation and just environment is translated both to the first trailer and to the second trailer. Like who does that? Like actually. Of course I can see like the graphics are better, but then it's like not even believable because it is a render. Like at this point I'm really confused what's going on. So I'm hoping that the sequel is gonna be something fresh and more enjoyable than the first game but so far everything pinpoints that it's an updated first edition but in a gold wrapping paper fingers crossed and we're in general skin color i guess this is white <laughs> tutorial yeah we're doing the tutorial of course per usual just like with the first game i wonder if they changed the mechanics altogether hey there welcome to the tutorial mm -hmm. first we'll focus on climbing later we'll talk about stamina and chalk so Let's get started. Look up and find the flag. Flags mark checkpoints. Yes. Oh shit. <laughs> okay. To take hold of a grip, use your left or right grip trigger. Each controller maps directly to the hands you see. Now let's start climbing. Use the controls to grab and hold on to a grip. Okay, I mean, sure. Wait, because with the first game you had a pressure system basically while climbing. Like how hard you would press the trigger, the grab button would work. But it seems like it is more simplified. Yeah, now I can just focus on climbing. If you fall, you will always restart at the last save point you activated. Some grips can only be reached by jumping. To do this, look in the direction you want to jump and press the jump button. Yes. You might need to reach out to hold on to another grip. <laughs> oh yeah, it's way easier than the first game. The wow. You want to leap and then quickly pushing yourself off from the wall. Release the hand you've pushed with and reach out with the other hand to hold on to another. <laughs> Very good. Hell yeah. Place both hands on the ledge and pull yourself up by pushing. Both oh my god, that's so easy now. Jesus. Well At a checkpoint. The timer is paused until you are ready to continue. You can check how much time has passed on your watch. Okay, now let's talk about stamina and chalk. Mm -hmm. So the first the game you had to reach, I think, is from behind or on something. The hand itself. Look at the stamina indicator to continue. Hold on to the grip with one hand until your stamina is fully depleted. Yes, that's what I remember. <sighs> You would let go, yes. If you hold on to a grip with one hand, that hand loses stamina, while your free hand regains stamina. If you hold on with both hands, both regain stamina. 
True. You can increase your total stamina by chalking your hands. To chalk your hands, hold the chalk trigger on the controller and twist your wrist. A sound will inform chalk you. Chalk depletes oh, every time okay. you grab a grip. So make sure to re-chalk your hands often. Right. Chalking was a very big part now of the first the game. Now press the button to see your next route. You can do this anytime you get lost. I'm pretty sure you had to reach from behind to kind of replenish your chalk. Now it's kind of like you can spin in place and press then the it's going to replenish. Okay, nice. Okay. Let's continue. I enjoy this tutorial and the mechanics way better than the first game for sure. They caught On them. some grips, you can slide down. You will fall off at the end though, and sometimes you might need to jump in time to reach the next grip. Slide down, huh? Oh, okay. Whoa! <laughs> it's a new mechanic. I don't think it was in the first game. Whew! Okay. Shit, 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 shit. Oh. Huh? Huh? <laughs> you also lose okay. stamina by jumping or falling. Oh shit, my hands. Here we go. Lovely. Sometimes it's a good idea to grab with both hands above your head. Climb across these bars to get to the other side. Mm -hmm. You may need to stretch your arms a little further to do so. Okay. The further your hands are from your body, the more stamina you use. In some places, you can use a zip line to cross larger gaps. Grab both that? handles to set it in motion. If you let go with one hand, the zip line is Remember, holding with only one hand drains your stamina. Oh, it doesn't work like, with just one hand. Okay. Well done. The second checkpoint is getting close. Yay! I really enjoyed the talking this time around. It's simplified as well. I enjoy climbing now well compared to the first game. Before continuing. Let's talk about grips now. There are different kinds of grips that affect climbing in different ways. Crumbling grips break off after you grab them, so make sure to pass them as quickly as you can. Hmm, how to recognize it? I mean, they don't have a color, so, so let's go just... No, no, no. Ah. It looks like this is a dead end. <laughs> but don't worry, you can rewind yourself to get back to the last checkpoint. Huh? Let's use the rewind button to go back. Really? Very good. Okay. You made it. That, hmm, okay. But remember, you can only rewind once per climb. Oh. Okay, let's continue. You can maintain stamina by using the half press technique. Look at the half press indicator and slowly press the grip trigger down. Oh no, half not half presses. When it turns blue, you are in the ideal range. That's what was annoying in the first game. Yeah, okay. yeah, oh no. Let's continue. I'm not gonna pay attention to that because to this it's too hard for me. Half press for a few seconds. <laughs> yeah, see, like an indicator. Great job. Half press is not required to climb, but if you master this technique, you can climb without chalking. Yeah, not for me at all. <laughs> the next grips. Technical grips drain your stamina more quickly than normal grips. You can use the half press technique here to maintain your stamina. So it's like optional now because it was needed in the first game and now it's kind of like optional to use it. I'm a chaotic person myself. Some I don't are want to focus on just like half pressing. Them. To clean a grip, reach out and hold the grip button in range. Once clean, your hand will grab the grip automatically. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, this is like a lot. I have to use half uh, grip to clean this. Uh, that's a lot of thinking. Brief. <laughs> because this is quite intense. Some oh, here we go. Have sharp edges. Oof. Gripping a sharp edge affects your vision and drains a lot of stamina all at once. Really? Ow! While gripping a sharp edged grip, the hand holding it cannot regain stamina. Oh, so we have to pass it fast. <laughs> okay. Congratulations, you have successfully finished the tutorial.
Okay, calm your tits. Yeah, this tutorial was way easier than the first one. Damn. I feel like I can enjoy the game way more by just focusing on what's going on here. Lovely girl. Okay, so let's just go with the game itself. Okay, so now we can choose environments where we want to play. So first of all, Bay is already known. It's kind of like I said, they copied the maps, but they pretty much revamped them, which means that they are way more detailed and just kind of like are set in the same place, but are so different really like graphically and stuff like that. I'm gonna take Alps simply because that's my preferred environments everywhere. Snow and mountains, give it to me. I'm gonna take Grand Chambre, even though it's like a medium difficulty. I wanna see the gorgeousness. <laughs> oh, you can choose play without chalk and stamina, but also without any score. Yeah, hell yes. That's amazing option that I have to choose from. So I can just like enjoy myself while climbing and not thinking about those, you know, more complex mechanics because you can compete in this game and stuff like that with score system and just like kind of multiplayer scoreboard. I just want to enjoy myself in the scenery as well as we have some gear probably unlocked through just climbing and stuff like that. Same stuff as the first game but like advanced. Let's go. Okay, we're here. Okay, I can already tell those graphics look like for the first game. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I knew it. It's gonna be like that. It's not like even detailed. The background is not even photorealistic. It's basically a render of a far away environment, but it's not photo finished like in real VR fishing, you know? Because they used 360 photosymmetric technology that kind of simulates the real life photography. But this is just any common quest game to me. Hello? <laughs> I can't like even move stuff like that. Okay, I, I wanna climb. Yeah hide it okay so we can climb without those stem bars lovely so where do i go i think i just <coughs> jump damn <laughs> hello get out <laughs> i think i follow the white lines ah okay uh, shit what, what? As well as this is different, like, normally I think in the first game, if you would be closer to an environment, your headset would not black out. I think you would just, like, kind of penetrate it, but, like, it wouldn't black out, I feel like. We're going here. Oh, no, 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 no don't move. Oh, shit. Uh. <coughs> Oh, damn. But I must say it's like simplified enough for me to play it like of course casually But I don't need to be a hardcore player in this game I just kind of want to be in the environments and just like kind of experience climbing I really am let down by the graphics. Oh my god. I'm on quest 2 Okay, and I know this headset can handle harsh upgrades in terms of shadows and just textures But this is not it at all. Jump! Where are we going even? <laughs> I mean here for sure Hey, I see you! <laughs> <laughs> Are we following the beaver? <laughs> oh, hell yes. Where now? Oh no, like that? Holy shit! <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> the gameplay is like very much smooth. We have some castle there but like i know that the quality is gonna be way different on the video than in the headset because that's just how the videos kind of work on quest in general i can tell you this is so blurry like i don't believe that this is like a fully realized sequel of the game this to me could be like very much an update to the first game i don't know why they released it as a full sequel to the series altogether it's very confusing to me here we go checkpoint <laughs> Okay, but the jumping works pretty good though. Like in the first game, I would just be completely... What's happening there? Blinking. What? Completely scared of jumping because I would just like bug out. Why the environment is blinking? Huh? I've played my Shadow of Quest games, as you'll know. While the mechanics are like more enjoyable for me now, I can't say that this is like, you know, looking amazing. Like at all. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Oh. It's a long track though. <laughs> oh, here. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, this is a long jump. Oof. No, oh shit. Ah, no, no, no. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Okay. What? I swear I'm grabbing it. Okay. Grab and then... <coughs> Oof. 
checkpoint, checkpoint. I'm like speedrunning at this point, just to pass the level. Well, it's pretty long, then. Oh my god, I have to jump there? Shit. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> yeah, like with those half presses and stuff like that, this shit is like hard. But I'm glad it has a casual mode, especially for my taste. Oh, damn. <laughs> Oh, holy hell. <laughs> okay, where's the end? Close, I think. Beaver, get out of my way. Okay, I can see <laughs> see in the horizon. <laughs> A line. <laughs> Alright. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Not now, game. Oh, here we go. And we are on top. My dude, can I help you? Jesus, I don't need this, <laughs> okay. Um, I am a little bit confused about the graphical level. Like, I knew they shown like, you know, PC game footage, stuff like that. But I've seen, for example, like, three minutes of gameplay of Mike from Virtual Reality, and it looked gorgeous, but like, in the headset, it's so bad? I don't know how that works. So he played the skyscrapers, yeah. And let's do New Blanc, of course, for example. I just want to see the environment, like, from the distance there, because maybe the maps that were, like, you know, in the trailers and stuff like that, that would look way better than the ones that were not shown. So now that I'm looking here, oh my god, <laughs> get out, cat! Now that I'm looking here, it's blurry. I don't get it. Yeah, the models look detailed when you ice like for the helicopter stuff like that. The environment looks blurry as hell. I mean, I cannot understand because this is not the focus of the game. But am I expecting too much from the Quest 2 capabilities? I don't think I do because I've seen games that do way better job and provide much better output. I don't know. If we're comparing both games, the first one and this one, this is an upgrade, of course, but it's not a sequel completely to me. I would say that this should be like a big update to the first game but not an entirely new game. Doesn't really make sense to me. If they would want to charge money for that I would say it's like a DLC. So then they can kind of like upgrade the first game with additional maps and just mechanics and stuff like that. But I don't see this as a separate game at all. I don't know. I'm let down honestly. But I do appreciate the simplified mechanic. Choosing your playstyle if it's for casuals or just for someone that wants to compete or like have a challenge. I don't see it, man. And uh, yeah, let's move on.